This is Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering. Now joining me on Inside the Film Room, special teams coordinator and linebackers coach, Coach Mark Powell. Coach, thanks for, so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Now, one thing huge we have to get out of the way is congratulations on the new baby. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. An exciting time. Can you tell me what the emotions are around having a brand new baby and then also getting that first win at Forterra Stadium for this fall? Yeah, it's been awesome. It was an unbelievable experience, and Coach Wallen was very, very gracious throughout the entire process. Really, really appreciate him, and it was an unbelievable feeling to uh, – have a game day in the middle of the week and then have, get a big time win in Forterra Stadium on Saturday. Absolutely. Now, one of the big stories coming out of this past Saturday, Jack McDonald gets named co-defensive player of the week in the OVC. Can you touch on his performance, but then overall the performance of the defense? Yeah, absolutely. Jack's done a really, really good job. He understands where he fits within the scheme. He has a knack for the football, as we can see, and he ends up in the end zone. And the defense right now is playing hard. Coach Kappas is doing a great job. Um, as well as the rest of the defensive staff, and we're just trying to get the guys in the best situation possible to make plays. Now, we have to look forward to EKU, Eastern Kentucky, coming up this Saturday. Can you talk a little bit about the defensive preparation that goes into that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we will uh, we'll start game planning, getting ready to roll today, and then uh, hit the ground running tomorrow, just make sure that we uh, put these guys in the best situation possible to make plays and um, make our playmakers uh, – make plays at the end of the day. And I mean, you just talked about with Kobe Perry and we had to just continue to build off of the performance last week. Coach, another thing I want to ask you, the voice. Now, on the sidelines, every coach, it seems like, is yelling the whole entire game. Can you talk about that night preparation? Are you drinking a lot of tea, a lot of water intake? Yeah, I, for sure. The, uh, I always say you get your coach's voice in camp. So you, uh, you might go through your first three or four days and there's a lot of halls around the office and, uh, you got to get prepped that way and uh, got to stay hydrated. So we got to just continue to push the fluids and make sure your voice is ready to go. Coach, coming up, Eastern Kentucky used to be in the OVC Conference. Now, no longer. They are in the A-Sun, which Austin P will be going to. Can you talk about this upcoming week and some of that preparation that you have for both offense and defense, the mentality you're trying to achieve going into this week? Yes. Uh, you know, EKU is a is a quality opponent. Coach Wells has done a great job with that program. They're tough. they got tradition. That, that place is a hard place to play. I've never been there. I've never played there. But I've heard numerous stories of that place being a tough place to play. So uh, we, we got our work cut, up, cut out for us. So this is a quality opponent. It's going to be a, obviously a future Atlantic Sun opponent. Um, and, and they're a tough football team. They run the football really well. They're downhill, vertical on offense, on defense. Man, they get after the quarterback. They blitz you. I mean, he pressures. It is going to be very – we're going to have to switch our mindset because uh, it's a total 180 approach from Moorhead State to now game plan at EKU because Moorhead State was more of a, uh, hey, we're going to keep it in front of us and come tackle you. Um, where EKU is, hey, man, we are going to pressure your quarterback and we're going to be all over your receivers. And so we're going to have to match that fire with fire and, and go play um, hard-nosed, disciplined football. And But as I say every week, I mean, it's all about us getting better week to week. And that's all I'm concerned with is how are we going to take the next step? And I, and I think one key word we're going to focus on this week is what we call just ownership. Ownership of our culture, ownership of the details, ownership of our game plan and knowing it and being assignment sound. And I think if we take ownership of, of, every, of every little detail this week, um, I, I, think, I think we got a chance to go, go compete at a high level. And so uh, that's all we're trying to do is get better every day. And, and we got to go play our brand of football and uh, we got to get on the road. And, you know, this is a, you know, out of the first four games, you know, we've only had one home game. You know, we're, we'll be on the road three, 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 three times out of these first four. We knew that would be a challenge. Um, but our guys are up for the challenge. We're excited to go play. Coach, thank you so much for joining me once again on Inside the Film Room. And remember, go Governors. Go oh Governors. This has been Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering.